So guys, I wanna show you what's going on with this E46. It came in with uh, no dash lights working. Windows didn't work. Turn signal indicators didn't work. So I'm turning the headlights on. We got no dash lights. We got the illumination for the lighting on the window switches and everything else, but nothing on the dash. And if you try to use the turn signals, they work on the outside, but nothing in here. And same thing goes for the hazards. So, and the windows, nothing. Okay, so this is typical of the K bus going down on BMWs, um, this being the E46. Now let me show you how we diagnose that. Okay, so you're gonna need a scanner and I'm using just an auto. And first thing we wanna do is get into the instrument cluster because that's the gateway for the K bus. I wanna see what it has to say. All right, so there you go. 87 is the code. Instrument cluster K bus. So that right there is a dead giveaway that we're having a K bus issue. Now, if you try to communicate with any module that's on the K bus, it's not gonna let you. For example, the uh, light switching center. That's basically your uh, headlight switch over here and it has no communication. And we can go down, check the different items, all the modules on the K bus and they will not communicate. So we know the K bus is down. Now we gotta get to the junction bar and find out which module is causing it. All right, so to take this glove box out so that we can get to the junction bar, you have to take those three out up top, one on each side of the glove box. You gotta take these straps out, just a little plastic pin holding them in. All right, so in order to test the K-Bus, we got the glove box out, the fuse box down, and in this junction, these red, white with the yellow trays, we're gonna remove that, and we're gonna test the K-Bus circuit on that. Okay, so I've got the K-Bus junction bar out. It looks like that. And I got my multimeter out, DC scale, and we're looking for anything over 11 volts on each of these. So I'm gonna probe that and I've got 1.95 volts. So right away we know that the bus is shorted and uh, one of the modules is taking it down. Now, in order to get the bus separated from the cover, you gotta lift these little black tabs up and then it slides right out. And in order to separate each terminal from the bus bar, you have to come in the back over here and you've got to lift these two little tabs up and then we'll slide out. Okay, so it looks like lucky for me, I pulled two of them out and the second one is the one that was shorting the bus out. So now, 
I've got 11.54 volts. So whichever wire that module connects to is what's shorting the bus out. And the way we're gonna figure that out is by hooking the scanner back up, trying to communicate with the modules and seeing which one does not communicate now that it's been disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and put that other one, the last wire back on. Okay, so now I've got my Autel hook back up and we're gonna see with this connector disconnected from the K-Bus bar, if any of those modules can communicate now. So before we had the K-Bus code in the cluster and now it's stating no codes present. Let's see, we, we couldn't uh, communicate with the uh, LSC. And now it looks like we can. So it's obvious that the K bus is working now. Now, if we go over here to the ZKE, which controls the windows and door locks. We have no communication so that tells us that the zke is causing the problem and just to validate it our windows still don't work but what i did notice is the warning lamps on the dash are working and the dash lights now work and the indicators and the hazard so basically by removing the ZKE from the K-Bus bar, we have communication with everything and everything's working. All right, so this is the ZKE unit and that's what was causing the K-Bus to go down. Okay, so I've installed a used ZKE, here's the original. The cool thing about the ZKE is that you can put a used one in and all you have to do is code it to this vehicle. Uh, sometimes they're even coded and it will work fine, but in this case it's a convertible and it came out of a sedan. So um, I'll show you in a different coding video on how to code it properly. It takes just a few minutes and everything will work great.